apparently. Hello, yay! Oh, we're on! Yay, good Monday morning, you guys. It is a beautiful day down where I live, but we are starting early in 10 today. But you guys know me, I'm Amy on Author Talk. I'm here with Sandy and Russell, so everybody say hi. Hello. I'm and sorry have- that, Sandy, can you talk? I can. Okay. <laughs> we were worried about that this morning. I know, and I still had to close out all of my Facebook pages. I'm not sure what's going on. I never had to do that before, but anyway, I'm I'm live and all by myself. I could hear myself already. So good morning, good Monday morning. Wow! And Russell, you're uh, we're early because you have court this morning, right? Yeah, and I'm sorry to the viewers that we had to start early, but last night all of a sudden. It- popped up that I had to get cover for another lawyer at a pretrial conference. So it, all of a sudden we had to change everything and thank you for being flexible. And I'm sorry to the viewers that we had to do this a little early. It's better early than seven o'clock tonight though, because you have a course. We have a course tonight. This, this is week four, week four. Of the be known course, and I am so excited about what what I'm learning. You know, I think I learn as much as anybody when I teach these courses because I go do research that I would not normally be doing, um, just so I can make you know I can cover it all. So, well, what are you fun. talking about tonight? What's well, the tonight, subject tonight? Continuing with our be known course, where last week we went into. Um, all the vehicles and the content. We're going to really focus on content tonight because content is, first of all, the most important. It can be the most challenging. I mean, when when you consider writing a blog post two or three times a week and keeping up with social media, what to say on social media, and then communicating with your list, with emails, and writing as an author, writing your book. That's a now, I've heard Amy say in the past, just reuse your content. You right, well, Amy? Yeah, but, but not again and to, again and again. Yeah, you don't want to constantly, okay, Russell, don't take that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you can count on Russell to look for an out. Okay, <laughs> I can just reuse it all. <laughs> no. So what are you saying do, Amy? If you don't use dates on your blog it's easier to re- to just repost things like if you don't have a new blog that week then it's easier to do that but if you have dates on it then the best thing to do is to do like a couple months back but it's relative to what is going on with your theme of the week so i've tried to do like week. three years back um was what? it relative to what you were talking about that week because if it is you can make like, this is an old okay thing. well here's the Good. thing and you said this on the course last week talking about being known about right. and you were talking uh, i've heard you say it before i don't actually know where because right. you talk so much <laughs> all the time all the time <laughs> but you were talking about making theme weeks you should have theme weeks yes. on your social media that right. seems like a lot of work no, but you kind of think about it. You already have a theme. You just don't know it's a theme. So, like, I have mine. I use certain hashtags. That's my theme of the week. But I'll also do one where, like, one week is just go out and have fun. Like, what? how do you work from home? Like, when I was canning, I was like, I get to can, and I'm still working. So I was kind of like, what do you do on beautiful days? Like, that was my theme of the week. But there's some that have, you know, this is the genre of that I'm writing about. And, you know, on Wednesday, I'm going to post what made me write it. But then I'm going to share other genres or other authors that have written in it that are inspiring that needs to be your theme and you already do that you just don't actively think of it as a theme and when you think of it having a theme it helps you because if i know that my theme this week is going to be um okay so this is a this is going to be right fast week for you it is right fast week for me that's her theme that's her theme theme. (laughs) i mean i could do blog posts on right fast because yeah. what, is, what is Write Fest? They have these places where they get together and they're starting today, um, getting together and having quiet writing time. I know, Russell, that's not what you do. You I need noisy writing. You time. need noise. You need noise, but a lot of people need quiet. So that to me is like, okay, 
a whole blog post could be on where do you like to be to write. That's actually yeah. really true. That's a good idea. Yeah. I should do a blog post because I'm such Why a weirdo don't you? about that. Why don't you? And so if you have a theme, it's easier to come up with ideas for blogs. Or for posting on social media. That's what's your th what's your theme, Amy, this week? Oh man, I have such a busy week. My theme for the week is trying to get trying to get Friday and Saturday at the right fest at so well, early. Yeah, but I think my theme of the week is I want to do this week of like an encouragement kind of thing. So when me and Sandy were talking yesterday on you know uh, we were talking about the course and stuff that we're doing tonight, it was that I want, like, I want my page to be known to people that whether you can budget wise afford me or not, you can still promote your business and you're still going to learn how to do that. And so that's my theme of the week is I want people to still know that it doesn't matter where you're at financially or whatever. I'm still going to help you market your book by showing social media examiner tips, tools that I use and things like that. So that's my theme of the week is how you can do it. And let me tell you a great place to get your theme for the week. That's Twitter. They're trends. Yeah. So I just went there. I had not gone to Twitter this morning at all. I just went to see what's trending. And guess what? This is small business week. So mm -hmm. all week long, May 29th through April, I mean, April 29th through May 5th is small business week. And it's, it's a government national day, national week. So just think of what all you could write about in a, about small business for a week. So it's easy to get trends. And to me, that makes it easier to write blog posts. I'm currently writing a series of blog posts on webinars because that is one of the things that we do. I'm going to be, I posted one yesterday. I'm going to be pushing it today. But that's one of the things that we do is webinars that introduces new platforms new programs new courses and so uh, so why not have a webinar so russell have you ever thought about having a webinar no <laughs> 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 i never thought i just i love doing these podcasts and between everything else that pretty much consumes everything that i all the energy i can i don't even know how you and amy do it uh, I remember, I know, well, right. like, I remember when you did Robert's, uh -huh. uh, Robert's book that week, between that week, your webinars, your podcast, I mean, I, you were, you were doing something on air or posting something every hour, it was like 24 hours a day. And I had a blast doing that. So, but thankfully that wasn't the same week I had my new grandson. <laughs> did you know that the week that, remember Frank, that we did an interview with? Do you know he's doing a, a United States tour now? I think that's awesome. I, think I that's asked him awesome. if he'd come to Houston and eat some barbecue with me. Remember we well, talked I'll about that. I'll have to reach out to him and see if he can come. We, Because I do owe him some stuff. His launch happened to be the week that I had my grandson. I was at the hospital 24-7. So I do want to go back and, and reach out to him and help him. So Frank, if you're listening to this, I owe you, bud. And I promise that I'll help you with whatever you have coming up. So that's great. So webinars, um, content, that's where this all started. Which, right, you're doing a blog on it. I'm doing a blog on webinars. We're talking about content. And tonight we're going to talk about how to get content, yeah. where to get content. And I can tell you there's lots of places out there. So um, we're gonna, I'm going to share some of those tonight. We're going to visit some of them. And then one of the things that I was challenged to do a couple of months ago was to take one piece of content and see how many different places you could put that content online. So that's that like interesting. It. That's fantastic. Who chat? What was this challenge? Who challenged you? Well, I was at a conference. Of course, you know, I left conference. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I really do love conferences. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, As, that, and, and David, your husband loves it when your conferences are across the street from casinos. Yes, he it's does. It's like magic. Yes, he does. <laughs> he somehow has time to go to the casino while I'm in the conference. So this is a great conference for David. Although I'm missing my, I'm missing a big one this week. Just be here for Right Fest because my mastermind group's going to New Orleans this week. And I had to say, I can't go because I've got Right Fest, but that's okay. I really want to, I really want to participate with Right Fest. So we're good. Um, okay. So Amy, do we have a social media, uh, anything for this week? Oh, Amy, there you are. Did you did something happen with your computer? She has four pic she has two different pictures on now. That's because she's on with her computer and her phone. Okay, that's kind of awesome. Okay. <laughs> like lost power, you guys. <laughs> you lost power? Yeah, that's why it's like cut out. So I'm having to use my phone. So I like lost power. Oh my gosh. I didn't notice that you were like look like frozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm on my phone. Because I don't have anything else to eat. That's great. <laughs> that was as fast thing. <laughs> so while we're taking a little break to do uh, to um, with Amy, um, Sue says hi. Hi, Sue. Hey, Sue. Um, Sue. Like Sue's blog theme of the week could have been when she came to Texas and did research. She could have done a couple of blogs about yeah, that. Yeah, and, and she's and all over social media about that. Right? She's actually oh, waiting on us to get. She's waiting on a, yeah, she should be so, doing social media about that. And we're working to get her blog post. I mean, if she now. did social media, right? Yeah. If she I did know. It. She needs to get better <laughs> at it. Sue, Sue you <laughs> owe <know> it. it. <laughs> we need to have Sue it. on soon. Sue, when are you available to be back on again? We need to have you on like a monthly basis here. Um, Vola, good morning. She said good morning from San Antonio. Oh, my mother's on. You know, this is really good for her. I know, Vola. You would be shocked at what Amy said about you this morning. And then oh, I was shocked. Okay. Yeah, sometimes she's got whatever. Y'all don't even try to get me in trouble. Now she's going to call me afterwards and be like, what'd you say? Well, I'm she sorry. is anyway. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Valerie. So Valerie is... Um, Valerie, Valerie has morning. a table this weekend at Right Fest. Yes. She does, and so do we. So, um, so what is Valerie putting on her table? What are you guys going to have on your table? Have you seen right Have you seen Valerie's table when she does a book signing or anything? Oh, it's She's gorgeous. got a great table. Yes, yes. It is uh, in fact, you guys showed pictures of at, at River Oaks of her table yes. and everything yes, she had. We did, and it was awesome. Her table was beautiful. So, Valerie, is that what your table's going to look like? Oh, and my niece, Shauna. Hi, Shauna. Says she's watching from Seattle. Wow. Ooh, nice. It we have early there. Seattle. It's only 730 there. So, wow. wow. So she's getting ready for work. She put us on while she's getting ready for work. We're like sports talk radio for. Except she lives nice. in Little Rock, not know, Seattle. So. <laughs> Little Rock. Okay. Well, oh, so she's just visiting. Yeah, she's visiting Seattle, probably doing uh, business okay. or something. So, um, Amy, do we have yeah. a social media topic this week? Well, social media examiner's been posting a lot of questions for people feeling curious. And so evidently there's Facebook newsfeed changes and they don't even know if they've happened yet. So for social media examiner to not know if they've happened yet and they're asking for feedback. For me, it's a big deal because I just feel like they are like the holy grail of social media. So I know you post it on your page, too. I love them. That's you guys I like it, too. I always look for that on your, yes. on your social media page. Did you see they interacted with you, though? They were joking I around when you were posting that. about the beard. Yes. It was great. That and is the secret to social media is to get somebody like the social media examiner to yeah. notice that you're posting about them. Or uh, Huffington Post or anybody. You just want to follow the same people. Amy's been following them and posting about them for a while. And now they've they recognize and saw Amy. I know they comment on my post and thank me. And I don't know. It makes me so happy. Well, what's this <laughs> about you being a radio star now, Amy? Now, tell oh, us I'm not what's a radio going star. 
You guys are so funny. I'm not a radio star. I'm just me and one of the, she's like a coworker of mine. We, she wanted, she knew the vinyl drought radio station and she knew the owners of it, but she had an idea for a radio show. And she asked me if I would be on it with her because she's seen author talk and she knows my personality. So we went on Friday and met with them and they're super excited to do it. And so it's going to be on Fridays at nine and we start on May the 4th, which I know is like Star Wars Day because May the 4th be with you, which is also the day for Cinco de Mayo. And we're just going to talk about like local events going on in Houston, local small businesses and have some on and, you know, like different it's going to be kind of like, I always say like a Wendy Williams hot topic, destination kind of thing. So it's just us going to be talking about, you know, like celebrity gossip or different events going on in the city that everyone can go to and things like that. So I'm, it's going to be fun and I'm super excited about it. Amy, is it starting this Friday? The 4th. This May 4th. Friday. Okay. And where can someone find you Friday at 9 p.m.? It will be on Vinyl Drought Radio on Facebook. It'll be on their website also and on SoundCloud and iTunes. So I will post the links in the comments below for everyone to get to. And if you want to go and like their page, I'm also going to be helping them with social media as well. So that's going to be me over there. So if anybody, Sandy, if it's shared on your page, I've shared it. <laughs> but yeah. so okay, so that's big own. news. That is great. It's big news. And, you know, this is what I want to point out about this great news for Amy is that they saw her on Author Talk or she saw her on Author Talk, got an idea of her personality and saw what she does with social media. And so now she's going to have her own radio show. And that's how this works. That's how be known course, right? Yeah, Yeah. it's going to be exciting. So we have. Me and the lady doing it is Jamie, and we have our own Facebook page. It's called Take Two with Jamie and Amy because our names rhyme, and an Instagram page and everything. So we're going to be building that up as well. So we're just super excited. It's just something fun for us to do, and it's our way of giving back to local businesses and helping, letting them come on and promote and stuff like that. So if you want to sponsor, you get 100 commercials a month. So if you're that something that you want to do for your business or whatever, contact me and let me know if you would like to sponsor it. But we will be on Fridays at 9. Yay. So send me me information on the sponsoring. That sounds like it might be something I'd like to look at. Yeah, you get to come in and film your commercial and well that, but you can also come on our show once a month and talk about your business and we will promote it. Like I'll be promoting it anyway, Sandy, because I love you. So are you going to like do on-site radio shows like down at on the on the port or something like that down no so how we're gonna do that is we do the radio show in the station on fridays at nine but we're also going to go to some of the locations that we recommend for people and do lives and stuff like that together on our page so that way it's going to be us like hey you know if you want to come and meet us or whatever we're going to be at this event kind of things like that so it's our way of giving back to houston and small businesses and helping promote them because they're a big deal so, Amy, if I'm a small business and I want to be on the show, what do I need to do? Like not you want to come and talk about it? Not me specifically, but let's say somebody listening to you says, I'm not an author, but I do have a small business and I would love to be on this yeah. show. Then what do they, they need? They should do? contact me or they can contact the Take Two, the Jamie and Amy show on Facebook. And there's an email, I think it's take to clearlake at gmail.com and send us, you know, information about their business. And we'll, we would love to have them on and talk about it and help them promote it. That's, that's the whole goal around it is to do that, but also talk about, cause you know, I love Wendy Williams and E! News and celebrity gossip and I can't help it. So I have to talk about some of that. Cause some of it's just, I can't believe it. <laughs> everything awesome. else is everything. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Yay, yay, Amy. Uh, Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so let's talk White Fest for just a couple of minutes. And we've really been, <laughs> we've had fun this morning, though. This is once a <laughs> month, guys. Once a month, the three of us like just to, to get on and talk about some topics and things going well, on. Well, and we had the big radio news today. That was the big news for today. It was. Yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. So when y'all want to come down and talk on it, let me know. 
So we should, Russell, you let me know when you want to go down and talk on it nine o'clock on Friday to get to Clear Lake. <laughs> I would love to. You can come. I'll drive us. You can come okay. here. I'll drive us from here. There you go. That's oh, halfway. There that you go. Sounds great. Great. So not I, this week though. This week no, is right fast. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, you can't come this week. We can't do everything in one week. This is their first week. They don't want somebody there for the first week. So so right fast Houston starts today. April yes. 30th through May 6th. So, so exciting. Excited and exciting. Um, Russell, do you have the webpage? To oh, show? yes, I can do that. And uh, this is, uh, who can they call to, uh, if they want to go Friday or Saturday or to one of the presentations this week? Well, there's registration, so um, I think so. Right what, here at rightfest.com, rightfesthouston.com, right, rightfesthouston.com, and um, so let me go there too. Right, they can go to programming. They can go to workshops, which is all week. This is what you said with the quiet times all week. Yes, every day from 2.30 to 4.30 or 2.30 to 3.30 is quiet writing time. So if you're one of those people that likes to get together <clears throat> and write, then there's time available for that. There's also um, the journal and publisher fair, which is... Um, and all of this is on the website. So when is the publisher fair? I'm looking at this now. Um, okay, just it go. It's got a lot of books, a lot of stories, um, websites, um, and it's it's so it's right there. It's on the on the website. Go there, and you'll see all this stuff there. And then, um, then the big thing is the big festival part or the big conference part will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So starting Friday morning, eight o'clock is uh, vendors can start setting up their booths. So we have a lot. I think we have thirty five vendors. I was so excited. Wow. So, so my uh, and by my, the way, didn't you say that all the Agent and pub, uh, public, what, all the agents? Pitch fest, are taken? all the pitch fest. It, they are pitch all fest. sold out. So this is going to be a huge, huge conference. Sold out. Several of the things are sold out. But you can um, still go. You can still go. You can still be there Friday and Saturday. Just go to registration. So everything is under, if you're on the website, Everything is under programming. There's registration, there's pitch sessions, presenters. If you want a list of all the presenters then the, and their bios, that's all there as well. And then what Russell was just showing was the schedule. Um, so, um, so lots of good stuff, but you could spend some time on the website looking for all that. But Right Fest Houston, sponsored by Right Space, which is Elizabeth. Um, and and they're working hard over. Oh there. my gosh! Yes. I mean they that place really. I mean I am so excited to be part. Of, I mean, just feel like it, excited to be part of what Right Space is doing, as well as what the Houston Writers Guild and, and Russell and I are on the board for Houston Writers Guild, and and together Right Space Houston and Houston Writers Guild are putting on this huge conference. On Saturday we have a keynote speaker. Russell's favorite. His name is Justin Cronin. He is a bestseller and has a series of books called The Passage, which are being made into a movie now. So I can't wait to meet him. I want to see. I want to, although well, because you've been trying to meet him for six months. I have sent him tweet after tweet and post after post to say, would love to have you on Author Talk. I think somebody's going to have to hire a lawyer to get an injunction against you, so you leave them alone. <laughs> Possibly. So I ain't losing lawyer stuff, okay? <laughs> I'll let you know. 
So anyway, it's a big week. Right Fest is a big week. We all got lots to do, um, mm-hmm. and especially this weekend. Amy and I will be there Friday and Saturday with our booth. I know Valerie yep. will be there with her booth. And we I will be know. taping from there <clears throat> Thursday afternoon while they set up. It will be Author Talk on location again. And then one of the things we talked about was doing an Author Talk from um, River Oaks Bookstore soon. Right? Yep. Right. Okay. I think we should. So, so I, In fact, I, I think you guys should tape during the festival one day, I, uh oh, she's duplicating herself again. <laughs> and I'm I think to get on you my and laptop. Amy should do a tape on location during Wright Fest next weekend. Okay. <clears throat> we could interview some people maybe who are walking around or doing. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. Amy, with your phone in hand. Yeah. We'll definitely be be um, doing some interviews. Okay. Just short short ones that we can do several on one author talk. Well, I think that our time's about up. I so think good. so too. Any last words from you, Russell? No, I hope everyone has a great week. Don't forget about Right Fest. It's going on all the time, all week long, <clears throat> and all weekend. Amy, and I didn't get to tell about my two new tools that I have, but I'll talk about about it. I want to know about it. Well, one of them will take your blog post and turn it into a video. Nice. What is that one? Um, I have the names of them. They're honestly names. And another one actually takes your blog post and turns them into an ebook. I mean, it's all there. You just put the URL in. It brings all the information and the and the images in. And then you just go in and make sure it looks the way you want it to look. And voila. The you lack of editing ramifications comment. scares me. Those are oh, fantastic. You can, you can still edit it. You can do anything <laughs> you want to do it. Those are fantastic. And you should post those in the comments. Those are good. Actually, you should. I will. Yeah. And one of them was free until today. So I will post that one. That's the one that turns your blog into a video. And I actually practiced it. It gave you a a thing where you can practice. And I took an article on marketing and it just made all these beautiful, put all the pictures with it, everything with it. So I did nothing but just- I want to try that. I will let you try that. I'm going to let everybody try it because I love it. And I can't wait to do one of my blog posts like that and share it on Facebook. So anyway- I'll talk more about that later as I, after I practice it a little bit. <laughs> so um, you guys have a great week. You too.